So hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, I guess I wanted to show off all of my old, rare Chucky dolls. Like the old 90s, early, maybe late, not early, not early, late 80s to somewhat early 90s Chucky doll items that you could buy back in the day. Some people say some of these items you could get at Blockbuster or like any movie rental stores. Uh, some people say you could get these at Spencer's. Um, other people say as well you could get them from comic books like the, the Chucky comic books that came out in the 90s. I think, you know, back in 1989 as well was when some of the comics came out. And then, you know, some people even say they remember seeing these certain dolls at Carnival. You know, like you get it as a Carnival prize. So, yeah. So there's many, you know, different things. One buddy of mine said he remembers seeing one of these certain dolls back at Spencer's, actually. So I guess it's kind of proof, but back in the late 90s or early 90s. So, anyways, though. This is the 90s movie promotion Chucky dolls or dolls or however you want to say it. Um, so, yeah. so I'm going to start with, of course, the first one here. Now, back in the day, um, these were made by MGM slash UA Home Video. Um, I think a lot of these actually were made by MG MGM. I'm sorry if I said MGA. I meant to say MGM UA Home Video. Now this is the, let me see the tag here. Yes, this is the oldest one out of all of these I have. This one's from Stephen Smith. And... Yeah, this one is from 1989. This is the 1989 uh, Suction Cup Chucky Doll from 1989. Now, apparently, apparently, this is the first Chucky Doll that came out. Not the first big doll, not the first life-sized. This is just the first one that you could get back in the day. Not first life-size, not first, you know... Whatever, just period. The first doll you could buy back in the day at any movie store, I'm guessing. You know, and he's old. He can sit down. You can put him in a sitting position if you wanted to. So I, I just, you know, have him kind of propped up. Up on the shelf there. But, uh, yeah. The head is, is crooked like this. There's no articulation in the head. There's no articulation at all, actually. It's just full-on stuffed with cotton. Um, but yeah, like in the movie, like in the movie, there should be, hold on, the little fake burnt mark on him, just like in the movie. I don't know if you'll be able to really see the fake burn mark, actually. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There you go, I think you can see it maybe a little bit better now, but yeah, the little fake burn mark there. It's very hard to see in this fucking red light, but yeah, so and this thing's mint condition. They used to come in a box as well, a brown box, and it would say like child's play, you know, so uh, even on the front here, it says child's play on the front there. Um, Yeah, so this is one of the earlier earliest versions, one of the first that came out for the suction cup Chuckies. Um, so yeah, or any type of Chucky doll, actually. This is the first one that you could get back in the day. If you're a Chucky fan and you like the movie a lot like I do and, and other passionate Chucky fans out there, you know, and you wanted a Chucky doll, you know, before they made, you know, I guess the larger ones and later in the 90s, um, this is all you could get. Again, not first life size, not, you know, the first, you know, biggest one they made. No, this is just the first one that came out, though. So, yeah. 1989 movie promotion Chucky. Or good guy, or whatever you want to say. So then, 
After 1989, because they made this in 1989, after this one came out, they made two other ones. Now, I think later on they redid them with different clothings, like different clothings. But the ones I got here, I believe, are like the first edition ones they came out with. Now, for the other two, they look exactly the same, in my opinion. But the other two will say Child's Play 2 and then Child's Play 3 on the chest. That's the only way how you can tell. And the third one, the face will be a little bit more pink looking for the third one that came out. But besides that, though, um, yeah. And oh yeah, I forgot one, one thing to say about the first one here. You could actually remove the overalls. That is one thing I actually said. You can remove the the overalls if you wanted to. You could actually remove them. Um, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, if you were wondering, like, look, I can actually pull up part of the overall here just to show you that they are not sewn to the body. So, let me pull up his, his leggings here just to prove it to you. So... that his clothes are removable. This is how I'm gonna prove it to you. There, you can see that his legs are actually popping out now. You can see that. You know, let me show you from the front here. You know, and then if I pull them down, pull them down. So. <clears throat> so. Come on. There we go. And if I pull them down, bam, so, yeah, if I pull them down, so they are removable, his, his overalls are removable, the t-shirt part, no, but the overalls are removable for the original one here, it just says child's play, you know, but, now, like, moving on now, for the second version here, um, the child's play 2 one, again, tag, Stephen Smith, child's play 2, 1990. 1990 is when this one came out. The Child's Play 2 version. Um, if we'll fucking focus. The, the logo is kind of blurred out from over time. Again, though, no head articulation. No head articulation, but yeah. So, same thing, just the clothes are stitched on. You can't remove the clothes. They are 100% stitched on. So, for the Child's Play 2 version. And the tag's actually located on the back here, the tag. It's not located on the side like the first version. So, yeah, but Child's Play 2, 1990, Stephen Smith, Universal City, it says. But on the back here, Stephen Smith. You know, so, yeah, the Child's Play 2, 1990. So. <clears throat> and now the third one here, 1991, and again, the clothing looks very same as the first and second, but this one, again, can't remove the clothing, can't remove it. The tags, located on its leg here, located on its leg, um, and this one says, Child's Play 3, 1991, Stephen Smith, so... chest there. It says Child's Play 3. It's hard to see because of this red fucking lighting. But Child's Play 3. Or I think it's because of my TV. There. So let's see now. There you go. You can see it better. Child's Play 3. There we go. So, yeah. That's it though. So here we go. The stuck a chuck Chucky Dolls. From 1, 2, and 3. Now, um, I might have to make a part two of this. I don't know right now. Um, I made a 30 fucking, almost a 40 minute video earlier of all my Puppet Master collection. So yeah. Now, after they made those, they stopped making the suction cup dowels for a while. I even think they made the other ones with like different clothing and, and everything. Then they stopped making stuck a chuck dowels in a hole. But I do know these are like the first three that came out. 
I do know that. So, however, after they stopped making the Stucka Chuck ones, they ended up making another doll in 1991. The last Stucka Chuck that came out in 1991 was the Child's Play 3 doll, which is right here. You know, and oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to say about the Child's Play 3 1991 doll, the Stucka Chucks, the head can actually move. If you see, you know, the head can actually rotate. The other two, the head cannot move at all. So that's a, that's a plus. The head actually can rotate. So, yeah. For the third version here. So. Yeah. However, now after they made those, that was the last one. The third version of the Stucka Chucks are the last, you know, one that came out. As far as I know, of the Stucka Chuck dolls. They may made a few other ones, you know, after with different clothing, but besides that, after they stopped making the Stucka Chucks in a whole, they ended up making another type of Chucky related item. And they decided to make, at the time, which is I got some message from someone earlier. I actually reviewed this doll. It's actually right up there, right up there, and this person's like, that's not life-size. Now listen, it might not be life-sized anymore, but when it came out, it was the big, okay, let me, let me rephrase it to you like this. Let me rephrase it to you like this. When it first came out, it was the biggest Chucky movie licensed doll that you could get. The biggest one. You gotta realize, when they made those, they didn't have the Trick or Treat Studio stuff. They didn't have, you know, the technology shit like they do nowadays. You know? And, look, it's pretty huge. It's pretty huge, and if you don't believe me, let me put it next to... Let me put it next to one of these. There. There you go. Actually, for even more, so you don't fucking say something, there you go, both of them. You don't think that's fucking big? You don't think that's huge? Like, so. Here, let's get the first one here. Let's get the first one. You don't think that's huge? You don't think that's fucking big, bitch? So, like, yeah. So when they made these, this is what you could get back in the day. I know, it might be only 20 inches, 24 inches. I understand that. Chucky was actually, what, three, fo three foot tall in the movie? I get that. But you gotta understand, this is what you could get back in the day. First, life-like, life-sized-like Chucky movie promotion. First thing. First, you know, life-like movie promotion Chucky item. And yeah. The one that I showed off originally with tag and that's autographed is the one up there. They're the same two fucking things. Same things. It's just perhaps that this one, the head's a little bit wobbly, wobbly, and the hair's all fucking even more crazy on this one. But still, same damn thing. But anyways, yes. So after they made those, the stucker trucks, they made this. They made this one. So. This is, like I said, the first life-sized movie promotion Chucky that came out back in the day. First life-sized movie. It's, nowadays, compared to all the other shit, no. It, it doesn't stand a fucking candle to the other life-sized dolls. Like the Trick or Treat Studio dolls and everything, you know. But this is what you could get back in the day. Part 2 will be coming... Storage is going low. Knew it. Part two. Yes. They made this. So. Tune in for part two. I'll be going over some more. Part two.